I just cleared AFK stage 1125 and I just unlocked the Trial of Abyss game mode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what that does and essentially what the game mode is because you only can play it after you've beaten stage 1125. Let's just jump straight into things, leave a like, subscribe channels if you're new, let's just go. Okay, as you guys can see, I've cleared out all the AFK stages basically very easily, pretty good. Um, and let's just jump in and I'm going to show you guys kind of what this is. So this is going to be the Trial of Abyss game mode. It's basically an endless tower style mode, similar to the Legend Trials. As you can see, there's a ranking leaderboard system where pretty much, as you can see, there's very, very high numbers of floors that you can clear. I've only just started working my way through this. I'm um, actually not powerful enough to go much further than what I already have, but I'm going to kind of showcase this to you as well. So the way this kind of works, it works exactly like the Legend of Trial game mode, except there are no like team faction restrictions on it. And it's endless and the rewards are pretty damn good. And if we go to the gameplay mode, what you can see here is you do get stellar crystals and tickets and also things for upgrading your character's ultimate ability, well, uh, mythic plus ability weapons. Now, I've been playing around with like certain teams. I honestly don't know what the best team setup is to do just yet, uh, but I've been kind of leaning towards a two tank system with a Coco uh, and doing this kind of setup. I don't have the required things really to do this kind of setup yet. And these guys are, you know, obviously quite a bit out leveling me. Uh, so I might even chuck the smoky on here to get a bit of the extra faction bonus. Um, this is this is going to be a very interesting thing to see how this plays out in the future. It's going to be quite a challenging mode to probably go through. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to go. We'll see if we can clear this now. I get the feeling I'm not going to be able to because my damage output here is just not very good. Uh, do keep in mind as well, a lot of my characters aren't fully like ascended in terms of like character rarity, like three of the characters in this team aren't. Oh, actually, we might win this one. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also at residence level 230. I'm going to hit 240 probably in the next few days. I'm actually surprised we clear this. Coco is kind of coming in clutch for this game mode so far. All right, awesome. Hell, I was not expecting to do that. So that's pretty good. Uh, we definitely cleared that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get to like the next like reward tier so I can showcase some of the better things. In addition to that, this is the really awesome bit. You get a huge amount of forging stones and you also get 100 hero resonance for every single stage that you clear here. OK, so I'm going to run the same setup I just ran just then. Uh, and let's see if we can clear this one this time. This might be a little bit more trickier because we do have so the key, the key thing with this team setup is making sure the Cecilia gets her ultimate up. As soon as the Cecilia gets her ultimate up, uh, we have good chances. If they break the front line before I can get the Cecilia up, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tweak some potential um, teams for this because this is essentially it works the same way as like the normal tower kind of game mode does, uh, and very similarly, like similar teams that work in the AFK stages will also work here. But the difference is the enemies are going to be a lot, lot higher level, which is more what the problem is here and why it's potentially going to be rather tricky. Two wilder, I'm going to more. OK, um, I'm actually kind of thinking I might take Cecilia off as weird as that's going to sound. I might put Odie on here um, and then. Mm, OK, I don't think it's going to work, but let's uh, let's give it a go. I just need to get Odie to take out that back line of uh, wilder units. He can do that. Yeah, the damage output just isn't there. They're just not doing good damage. Man, they're tanky. Although this is working a little bit better than it did last time. So as you can see, just changing small things up in your team can be very significant. Uh, I think that Thorin positioning before I had on Tundra and Thorin swapped around the wrong way might have screwed me there the first time. So I think I'm actually going to better clear this. I'm going I'm to really try and push this pretty hard in the next few days to see how far I can take this. So as you can see, we did get the Temporal Essence, which is a very, very big reward. Very, very interesting game mode. It is an endless kind of tower kind of mode. Uh, you can get very, very high in terms of flaws. And this is something we're going to be all be working towards over time to progress. Uh, as you can see as well, my account power has reached 15 million. It's almost at 16 million and my resonance is at 230. Speaking of which, guys, just a quick little reminder, if you're planning on doing the Song of Strife event when it comes out, uh, do keep in mind, I believe these dates are like um, server time. So if you started on a later server, you'll be playing this content later. They do this so, you know, you're not too behind on the server. That's why they have separate servers with the core progression thing starting at different times. Uh, but this is going to be really, really awesome. This is coming in 11 days. I've got one more requirement to hit, which is the 240, which I'll do it probably in the next few days. Also, I believe the Primal Lord is about to finish on my server. Let's just quickly check in with that too. Because he should be almost dead. If he's not dead now, yeah, he's not quite dead yet, but he should definitely be dead tomorrow. Because uh, that number is getting pretty low. What is it sitting now? 20 billion. 20 billion? 
Yeah, 20 billion. So he's almost dead. He had 724 billion at the start of this. So he should be dead pretty soon. Um, yeah, I'm just really preparing for the Sun of Strife. Now I'm going through like every single game mode, trying to like clear like everything. I'm doing the Arcane Labyrinth. I've almost, I'm still working through the um, Legend Trials. I should be done with these pretty soon as well. Probably the next few days. Um, Arcane Labyrinth, I'm just working through finishing up. And yeah, things are going to be pretty cool. I'm going to have a bunch of guides planned for the uh, different uh, Dream Realm bosses too. Anyways, guys. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll be making more videos in this game very soon, especially on Song of Strife when that comes out. Hopefully you all had a good one. Have a good one. Bye.